The White House might be making plans to celebrate Independence Day, but Democratic leaders refused to blow past Biden's performance during the recent debate. Erica Brown is in Washington, where the president faces more backlash from his own party. Netflix co-founder Reed Hastings, a powerful Democratic mega donor, is the latest voice to call on President Biden to withdraw from the race following last week's debate. It's a sentiment echoed by another Democratic donor, Whitney Tilson of New York City. Our only hope of defeating Donald Trump and avoiding a four-year national nightmare is for Joe Biden to do the right thing, step aside. It's not just donors. A second House Democrat, Arizona progressive Raul Grijalva, urged the president to withdraw, saying Wednesday what he needs to do is shoulder the responsibility for keeping that seat. And part of that responsibility is to get out of this race. In a radio interview, Biden acknowledged his poor debate performance. And a bad night. And the fact of the matter is that, uh, you know, uh, it was, I, I, I screwed up, I made a mistake. But he is vowing to remain in the race. Last night, he met with more than 20 Democratic governors to shore up their support. The president has always had our backs. We're going to have his back as well. President Joe Biden is in it to win it. And all of us said we pledged our support to him because the stakes could not be higher. Tomorrow, he will try to convince voters of his fitness for office and his ability to win re-election with two events, a rally in Wisconsin and a network television interview. Erica Brown, CBS News, Washington. Now, the question of Biden's ability to lead has opened a margin of opportunity for uh, previous president, Donald Trump, who has slipped through with a slight lead among voters in key battleground states.